So right here, we have a Montgomery Ward Christmas 84 catalog. Now I'm nostalgic for this time period, even though I wasn't born until late 87. I went to garage sales a lot with my mom and my grandma and that's how I became obsessed with Care Bears and Rainbow Bright and stuff like that. And also, I have a soft spot for Montgomery Ward. I used to go to it when I was little and you know, then they went out of business, but I just always liked the Montgomery Ward catalogs. I know people talk about the Sears catalogs and the JCPenney catalogs a lot, but for some reason Montgomery Ward, that's where my heart was. So on the front, you can already tell this is gonna be great. We have He-Man up in the corner. We got a Cabbage Patch Kid. I was never into Cabbage Patch Kids, but you know, those are really popular. Of course, we got a Care Bear. And over here, is he from the, what's it called? Get Along Gang or something? I don't know, not too familiar with him. So right when you open it up, I'm talking first page, bam, Rainbow Bright. So I saw this on Instagram, this issue. I saw some pictures and I was like, oh my God, 84 was a good year for toys that I like. And then I didn't even know it starts off with Rainbow Bright. So I'm really glad I ordered this. This was an impulse buy on eBay in the middle of the night and I'm so happy that I did it. So here we got Rainbow Bright, her Star Sprite Twink, and we got Starlight the Horse. Now I have this whole thing. I found all of this at a garage sale when I was little. Um, I actually found her in the box. So that was cool got a My Little Pony. So I think that's like a plush My Little Pony. I didn't have a ton of My Little Ponies when I was little. I had like those really tiny ones. I forget what they were called, but they were really cool. I liked the tiny ones. And then of course we have Gizmo, Gremlins. It's pretty cool. Rose Petal Place. Not a lot of people remember Rose Petal Place, but I do. Over here, more Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright was just awesome. So this really makes me happy. I have the car. Um, I had this, um, the outside, this thing. I remember I found that at a garage sale, but I didn't have the stuff inside. <gasps> More Rainbow Bright. Oh my God. Can I please have this? I really want this so bad. Um, and I promise I'm not only gonna talk about Rainbow Bright. We're gonna talk about all kinds of things. I mean, look, look what we're about to see. Remember bed canopies? I feel like in the 80s and early 90s, Every time there was like kids bedding, there was always an option to have a canopy. I never had one. I don't think anybody really had a canopy except for the people in the magazines. Oh my God, pajamas. So this is funny. This page surprised me because I recently uh, retweeted this ad right here of Omnibot serving these people some popcorn and I did not expect to see this in here. So Tomy Robots, they made a lot of iconic um, robots in the 80s and I kind of want to start collecting these toy robots but I'm a little afraid because they are going to take up way too much room but I don't really care. Look at Omnibot. And then you have Verbot over here. Looks like he can throw a tennis ball. Bingbot. Oh my god, that's adorable. The most lovable robot. Oh my god. I've just fallen in love. GoBots! I don't know anything about GoBots, but I know they were a big thing. Look at this toy set. Isn't that rad? It kind of reminds me of like Castle Grayskull or something. Whoa, Care Bears! Care Bears were everywhere apparently in 1984 and that's probably why I would always see them at garage sales in like early 90s. So any popular franchise there was always like a cassette player, a phone. Look at this phone. I need that phone in my life. And then radio cassette player. I had these books. Every time I turn my eyes a different direction, I see something else that's making me freak out. Little kitchen set. That's a lot of pieces. Where would you put that's That would take up a lot of room, but I'm sure some lucky kid had all of that. This thing is cool. I had this growing up. I didn't have this though, that, that's awesome, but I had this. So it was a carrying case and a play set. I wish they showed what it looked like when it was all folded up, but I'm sure I could find a picture online and slap that in here. Oh my gosh, then over here, we have the Cloud Keeper and Professor Cold Heart. He was the bad guy. I think he was the bad guy, I don't really remember. Look how cute. 
cute this car is. I wish I had an umbrella in my car. Now we have some Mr. T and the A-Team. First thing I noticed, look at this kid in this tent that's actually the A-Team van. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> and then you have your Mr. T action figure doll. He's the tough talking Mr. T doll. This is various phrases. <laughs> look how realistic that gun looks. Man, the 80s were a different time. Oh my God, look at this one. That would not be sold today. Now, I had no idea that the Get Along Gang was this popular. There are a ton of pages in this catalog featuring merchandise with the characters from this on here. I don't remember if this was a show or if it was just toys, I don't know, but it was popular. I like their little clubhouse. I think that's a cool little toy. If you remember the Get Along Gang, you should talk about it in the comments. All right, now here we have the big stuff. We have Masters of the Universe toys. Now, this was an iconic playset. Obviously, I, I didn't know about this as a kid. I mean, it was before my time and I was really into girly stuff when I was younger. But, you know, since I've learned about a lot of this stuff and I just like learning about old toys. It's what I like to do <laughs> in my free time. But this is an iconic playset. So this is C Castle Grey Skull. And this was cool because there was like trap doors. There was a whole bunch you could do. I know it's like hard to find play sets. I've heard on eBay that have like the ladders and the little weapons and stuff. It's hard to find one that's complete. It's probably close to impossible. Then over here, I like this better. This is Snake Mountain, Skeletor's house. And this is cool because it came with a microphone. So it could be like you're talking out of the cave. And I guess that was its main selling point. You know, besides the fact it just looks really badass. I mean, seriously, where would you rather live? Skeletor's house? He-Man's house. I wanna live here. I like this a lot, this little toothbrush holder. It reminds me of these other toothbrush things they'd have. And it was there was a commercial for it. And they advertised the He-Man one with the Rainbow Bright one. I'm gonna have to insert a picture of that in this video, but I feel like Rainbow Bright and He-Man were often advertised um, side by side. Obviously this is going off commercials I've seen uploaded on YouTube because I wasn't alive yet. But I don't know, that's just something I wanted to point out. Not gonna lie, I kind of want that clock even now. Are tents still a thing? I had a tent when I was little. I had a Mickey Mouse tent, but I, I wonder if it's in this catalog. I think it might be, but. This He-Man one is pretty sweet. You got this little Skeletor, whatchamacallit, shield. So I'm not gonna get too into Rose Petal Place because I know a lot of you probably don't care about it or know about it. I honestly don't know about it that much, but I just remember seeing these toys at garage sales. I have a lunchbox actually, but I like the dolls. I think they're cute. And of course, you know, there's a lot of Star Wars stuff because Return of the Jedi came out 83, I think. So this was the following year. So it was still pretty hot. Um, you got the little Ewok village down here. This is a, another iconic toy, you know, that you see sometimes at toy conventions, stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. Of course you got Jabba the Hutt over there. The hell's that? Oh, it's a little like coat rack. They were really promoting the Ewoks, huh? Guess it makes sense. Speaking of Ewoks, did anyone else find it kind of weird and jarring that there was just like a flash of Ewoks in the new Star Wars movie? Like, did they really need to show that for like two seconds? I mean, I know they were trying to jam pack it with everything, but what the fuck? Got a cool little bedding set. I miss sleeping bags. I had a Pocahontas sleeping bag. That's the only sleeping bag I ever had. My Little Pony. That's funny. I just watched the episode of The Toys That Made Us where they talk about making this pony castle. I really like My Little Ponies. They're just, it's such a cool design. I don't know a ton, but I was a very casual My Little Pony fan. Really like these plushies. I've never seen those before. The Pretty Parlor. That's an iconic toy too. I always hear that mentioned, but it's not that cool in my opinion. Like I think this is a lot cooler. But I mean, this is like what you want. You want the castle. So much My Little Pony stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this umbrella. That's adorable. G.I. Joe. 
Only thing I know about G.I. Joe is that I really like the dubs, like little mini videos they would find on E-Bombs World back in the day. That's all I know about G.I. Joe, so I don't really have a lot to say. I know it's an iconic franchise, but then you got Gremlins. That's adorable. And of course, there are glowworms. So I had one that looked like this guy right here, but I think mine was from like the late 80s, early 90s. I don't know how long they made glowworms, but mine kind of, mine was like this shape, but it was like purple with stars on it or something. I've never seen this one before. That one's a little weird, I don't like it. And of course, you have a bunch of Fisher Price stuff. I feel like if you didn't own some of this, you either experienced it at school or you played with it at a doctor's office, you know. I feel like this is one of the most famous toys ever. The Snoopy Snow Cone Maker. I never had one, I never used one, but I mean, it is pretty cool. And I like that you can still buy them today and I'm pretty sure it looks exactly the same. And you have your Easy Bake Oven. I love that orange. It looks kind of like late 70s. I'm really into that. I had an Easy Bake Oven, but it was like hot pink. I don't know. Me and my friend and her brother would make so many of those little cakes and then they disappear way too fast. So Strawberry Shortcake was of course another iconic 80s franchise. Look at this shortcake house. I've never seen this before. I would have freaked out if this existed when I was little. Like that's awesome. I love Strawberry Shortcake. I know they keep reimagining how she looks. I don't even know what she looks like now, but this is classic shortcake. I hated baby dolls, but I liked Barbie. I wish I had this jacuzzi. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I do also collect McDonald's memorabilia. And look at this. It's a Barbie McDonald's playset. That's adorable. Look at the little booth. So now we are in the stuffed animal section. Oh God, is that a dummy? And a Bozo the Clown dummy? That's terrifying. We're not talking about that. We're gonna talk about snorks gotta have the snorks look at chili willy i found a chili willy plush last year at universal studios and he wasn't as cuddly as this guy right here i like i like this chili willy woody woodpecker looks kind of weird is he like posable i don't know how i feel about that he's kind of weird looking and of course elvin and the chipmunks poochie was weird maybe one of you guys who is older than me can tell me more about poochie but like, I've always known about Poochie, but I don't know how popular Poochie was. I mean, Poochie's cute. Who wouldn't love Poochie? But I feel like it wasn't that popular. Same with Charmkins. I mean, like I was saying, I recently watched the My Little Pony episode of The Toys That Made Us, and they talk about Charmkins kind of flopping, but I heard of them. I would see like the play sets at garage sales, but I never see the little figures because they're really tiny. Ah! Now before everything was oversaturated with Marvel and DC, you just had the Justice League. And here's our little Hall of Justice. I always forget about that Joker. Everyone forgets about that Joker. Everyone forgets about this era. And over here we have Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars. Looks pretty cool. This is like another era, seriously. I mean, I know it is literally, but like, Stuff is so different now. And here he is, Inspector Gadget himself. Look at this toy, it's crazy. I think that's the only Inspector Gadget thing in here, but I had to show that. So this is a very iconic page. I mean, we have Game & Watch over here. I love Game & Watch, I'd love to collect it now, but they are just so expensive. So we have Donkey Kong Jr. Snoopy Tennis, Mickey Mouse, and Popeye. Now let's see, let's see how much Donkey Kong Jr. was in 1984. Okay, so 2188, damn. And then these, what are these? I've never seen these before. <laughs> so we have, okay, so these are called the Game & Watch Super Color. Spitball Sparky and Grab Grab. Crab Grab. These are cool. I've never seen these. You got these awesome Coleco tabletops. They're awesome. So we have Donkey Kong Jr., Pac Man, and Cubert. 
I never see the Cubert one. I feel like that one's kind of rare. Maybe I'm wrong. Then you got Zaxxon up here. I like the shape of Zaxxon. So I didn't have these as a kid, but I mean, Speak and Spell is an iconic 80s toy. I feel like whenever you think of 80s toys, it always goes to these. So you got Speak and Spell, Speak and Math, and Speak and Read. I love the color scheme of Speak and Spell. This I see a lot, the little professor ca uh, calculator. I never had it. I never encountered one in the wild, but I feel like this always shows up when you're talking about vintage toys. <gasps> Elfie too. I'm pretty sure I had him or like I would play with it in somewhere. I think I might've had him. He looks awfully familiar. He's a cute little robot. Electronics. Did any of you guys have electronics day at school? We had that in elementary school. <laughs> Anyway, more Poochie. Poochie must have been popular. I mean, you wouldn't have Poochie electronics and radios if it wasn't popular, right? Now we got a Barbie cassette player. I like that. Smurfs. Of course there's Smurfs. I'm surprised we haven't seen more Smurfs in this catalog. And a whole page of Michael Jackson products. And Menudo. Look how happy that kid is. I can't tell if he's happy or just kind of like... Do I have to play this Menudo guitar? Viewmasters! I really liked Viewmasters. I remember I had a Little Mermaid one. And I'm sure I had others, but the Little Mermaid one is the one I remember. I remember these even in the early 90s. Like, you would read along with a cassette tape. That's pretty cool. There was Masters of the Universe, Care Bears, Little Shortcake, Alvin and the Shipmunks. So this is the stuff every kid wanted. Everyone wanted a Jeep or a car they could ride around in. I was lucky enough to have a Barbie car. I didn't have this one, but I had a hot pink Barbie Jeep. See, I wanna find the year that came out, which I think was like 91. I want the 91 catalog. I had a Barbie bike. That was my first bike. Oh, they got a Care Bears bike. Barbie, of course. <laughs> a team bike. Damn, another Care Bears bike. Care Bears are really popular. Strawberry Shortcake, that's adorable. Another Care Bear bike. Cabbage Patch Kids. And then, you know, if you want to be serious business, you're like, I don't have any characters on my bike. So now we're done with the toy section, but now we're gonna find random electronics and pajamas and clothes. So this automatically caught my eye. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom pajamas. How badass is that? Transformers. I'd probably go with this one. Knight Rider. There's Kit. I don't know how I know that because I've never seen an episode of Knight Rider, but maybe it's because I watched so much of that VH1 show. I love the 80s when I was younger. Okay, so here's the stuff you guys are probably very interested in. I know I was excited when I came across this page. So here is the Commodore 64. You know what's funny though? That's not a Commodore monitor, that's a Zenith monitor. I wonder why they didn't show the Commodore one. Then you got your floppy disk case. I haven't seen one of those in a very long time. Ah, there's the Wicco controller. I've never used one, but um, I know people would always say, use that on your Atari 5200. Um, I've never played an Atari 5200, so I don't know, but I've heard they're not that good, so you're really not making that much of an improvement. So here we have some more computer games to choose from. Pole Position. I love Pole Position so dearly. Miss Pac-Man. Centipede. Dig Dug. This is so cool. And lastly, Novelty Phones. I remember my cousin, who's 10 years older than me, had this Mickey Mouse phone. I always thought that was pretty cool. I've never seen that Kermit one, but I really like that. I like that he's sitting in like an office chair. And that Mickey one, that one I've never seen, but pretty cool. If I had to choose one, I'd probably go with Kermit. He just looks so cool sitting in that chair. And uh, that's about it. Here's the back, Montgomery Ward. You can get a sweet VHS player. I wish I still had a VHS player. So if you have one, don't throw it out because they're harder to find. All right, so that was my look at Christmas 84 in Montgomery Ward's land. If you guys want any more videos like this, please let me know. I'm thinking of doing one um, 
focusing on toys in the early 90s or stuff from my childhood because although I did grow up with the stuff thanks to garage sales, I want, you know, to also focus on toys that came out in the early 90s. So let me know if that's something you want to see and thank you so much for watching. Bye!